Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox. You're watching Show of the Week. I'm Mike. And I'm Andy. This week, I decided to invest my money in some of that cryptocurrency that everyone keeps talking about. Ah, oh, cool. Which one did you go for? Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum? Uh, I think it's called Chococoin. The guy who sold it to me said I was a savvy investor. Did he now? Well, you could tell he was thinking it. So I doubt I'll be hanging around here much longer after this thing makes me a multi-millionaire, so we better talk about whatever gaming stuff there is to talk about before I sail out of here on my yacht made of gold-plated gold. There's not any water around here. Yeah, we'll also have wheels, Mike, made of gold. Cool. How about Dragon Ball Fighters? Yeah, right. Okay, Andy, Dragon yeah. Ball Fighters. Fighters. What's that all about then? Do you know what anything it? about Dragon Ball Z, Mike? Are you a uh, fan of the uh, I assume there's a popular a, anime series. A dragon and, uh, and a ball. There is, uh, potentially well, a, a Z in there somewhere. There's seven, seven balls. We're not going to get into it now. Okay. We're going to talk about the game, which is a fighting game. Cool. Uh, I just had the open beta this weekend, so I've been playing yep. some of that this past weekend. I didn't actually manage to get any games against any other people because, oh. as you may have seen, some quite uh, widely publicised server issues ah, with the enough. game, which meant I couldn't get into games with anyone else. But uh, I did get to kind of go around the... Uh, it's got an area that's a bit like Destiny's Tower. Oh, so nice. So it's like a social area. You walk around. Is everyone just standing around going... Ah! No, no, they're all like putting up stickers. Oh, on, that's considerably less head, dramatic. Things like that. But um, there's the training is in there. I was able to play the training. And uh, I, I'm impressed with cool. what I saw. It's fun. <laughs> Uh, my biggest question is, mm. do I need to understand the anime to enjoy the game? Well, no. I mean, you can just take it as an anime-style fighting game mm. with uh, characters with amazing haircuts yeah. who just have big fights. But um, it, I think it, it helps. There are some um, interactions between the characters that sort of uh, reference the TV show, so that might go over your head if you've never seen it. Right. But um, apart from that, it's just a really solid fighting game from what I've played. As a fighting game, it reminds me quite a lot of um, like Marvel vs. Capcom, because okay. you have a team of like three fighters, and you can swap them in and out. Um, when you're playing against an opposition team, you've got moves where you can like force a character switch, so you like kick that guy and he goes flying off, and then the other guy gets subbed in oh, nice. as a sort of... And it, you know, it throws off their tactics if they're That's deliberately cool. trying to use a particular character on you. Um, but also, it does have that Dragon Ball fighting game thing where you hold down a couple of buttons and you just start going, Hurr! and you got like seven levels of, oh my of gosh. power that you can like build up while you're doing that. <laughs> You've got like powered up versions of your Kamehameha, like Fireball. And uh, when you've got your kind of uh, your four bars, you can do this like gigantic uh, ultra combo, and it switches to a sort of anime style cutscene. Nice. When you actually make contact with it, and uh, if it's sort of finishing someone off, you get that thing where it pans out, shows a long shot, and just <laughs> the, the planet explodes oh, from amazing. a distance. Even if you're just finishing someone with like a heavy kick, yeah. like in one direction, you'll do a heavy kick and they'll go flying off and like through a mountain <laughs> or through an apartment building. That's amazing. And yeah, it's like destructive finish. I mean, even as someone who's not really watched a lot of the, the show, I never watched it in French because it, I went on holiday to France and they used to show it in France all the time. Uh, okay. Um, I, even I can appreciate just how good it looks. Like it's so impressive that you know the the uh, closeness to, to how the anime looks mm. is astonishing. Yeah, and it really um, captures the feeling of the fights in the in the TV show. So it's got launch moves where you'll like knock someone up into the air, and then you sort of take off after them, mm. and then you start doing the da 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 da, da <laughs> in midair, like fighting each other, and then you smash them back down to earth, or smack them even higher, and you go. Further space. <laughs> you still just keep juggling them for, yeah. for ages. <laughs> but I think it's um, it's being touted quite hotly as a sort of new competitive 
Um, oh, cool. Yeah, like... Might uh, see it Evo in places like that. I think so, and it's got some really intricate systems of like recovery and blocking and parrying and uh, like switching characters nice. out and combos and things like that. So you can watch replays of sort of the top ranked players mm. in this um, awesome. in this social space thing. So I was watching some of that and seeing like the techniques that the top people are using, you're like, wow, I... <laughs> Nope, I'm just going to keep mashing square. As an aside, like of all the esports, I think fighting games are the easiest to pass as like a, as someone who doesn't play at that sort of high level. Yes. Like Overwatch yeah. League has been happening and I don't know Overwatch well enough because you need to know the abilities of all the different characters and be able to understand how they're best deployed mm. to get what's going on. Whereas with fighting games, two characters on a screen, health bars on the screen, and then everything else beyond that is just like really impressive, like people pulling it back from the brink and, and stuff yeah. like that. And it's just really, really cool to watch. So I'd be well up for watching some Dragon Ball Z. And it'd be like watching the cartoon, basically, because yeah. it looks so good. There is quite a few characters in the beta, but it's not all of them, I don't think. Mm. But um, it was sort of your know, greatest hits, so it was like Goku, uh, Vegeta, uh, Gohan, Krillin, who is a bit rubbish. Luke, you'll back me up on this. Krillin. Oh, yeah, no, Krillin, rubbish. he's rubbish. Yeah, Krillin. He's, he's rubbish. got this thing called a disc, I think it's like, what's it called? <laughs> Destructo disc. Destructo disc, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. it's rubbish. Is, yeah. It like a, is it like a, ca a repainted Captain America shield or something? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> he makes like a buzzsaw out of energy and then he throws it. But it's the that sounds amazing. Do. It's not. It's bad. I stopped watching around the sort of Boo saga, so there's tons of Dragon Ball I haven't seen. So there was, there's like a cat called Beerus. Do you know Beerus? Beerus, the one who's like an Egyptian god, right? Yeah, he's a god of destruction. Wow, or yeah. something. I stopped but, watching after um, after Boo as well. Yeah. So but, for people who have watched the cartoon, this is quite like late era sort of. There's some stuff in there that I, I'm not aware of, but then I haven't watched it for a while. There is a mechanic I quite like in it where you collect the Dragon Balls um, right. by doing combos. So you do a certain number of hits combo and you'll yeah. get the one star Dragon Ball. You do another certain amount of hits and you'll get the five star Dragon Ball. Once you've got all seven, you do another combo and you summon uh, Shenron, the big dragon, and it grants you a wish. And you can either like get all your health back take less damage, uh, revive a fallen teammate, or do a lot more damage or something like that. But it's it's quite like cinematic. The dragon sort of comes up and he's like, what is your wish? Dragon Ball <laughs> That's the sort of the point of the early series was trying to track down these seven dragon balls. Yeah. It took them ages. Now you're doing you it every do match. it in one round by like hammering, <laughs> hammering the uh, square button. But yeah, it's um, like the presentation's amazing, um, and the fighting system feels really solid. And it's that sort of game where you can feel like you're doing quite well even when you're just sort of mashing My buttons because you're doing kind of game. yeah, and you can just go ah and charge <laughs> up. I mean. It's not a great sign that I couldn't get into a single online game. No, that's what betas are for, though, I guess. Now they know to buy a load more servers, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. They said they patched it and it was still. Still, still bad. Not oh, well. So Let's give up on this one and get yeah. you to work on Dragon Ball Fighters 2. Yeah. I would say, like, I, I thought it, it, it looked great and it played really, really well, but it's just, if it doesn't work online, that's sort of the point of the game. So, yeah. I don't know, I'm going to have to see if it actually works. When it must it have a single player out. story mode, though, and, like, local fighting, maybe? Yeah, I mean, there's going to be a load more modes. Mm. So, fingers crossed. But I think the reason most people will be buying it is to play it online. Yeah. So. Do you think we were too harsh on Krillin? I'm starting to feel bad. He's starting to feel bad. Yeah. No, he's bad. Uh, but he has qualities. So I'll tell you what he doesn't have. A nose. <laughs> Luke was telling me about an episode that sounds amazing where they go on a driving test. Is that in the game? Can I do a driving test? Dragon, 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 dragon balls. Okay, yeah. Um, they have to go get their driving license. Yeah. And then they will be forced to drive their own meals from now on. That sounds like a nightmare. That's the setup for that. <laughs> <laughs> what do the two have in common? Is it so they can drive to the takeaway place? Um, I think... Goku's, or does that make too much sense? I think Goku's significant other, Chi Chi, is ordering them. I think she's maybe sick of them. Sick of just cooking all the time, right? Yeah, Fair I play. Think, yeah. I think so. Well, yeah. that wasn't one of the playable scenarios. <laughs> what? But who knows for the final version? Anyway. You could just put an egg on your head and just go. That's true. And then you cook it. Just have a, like a, a, some s'mores on yeah. a stick. <laughs> yeah. <and just laughs>
Not very nutritious, but delicious. Yeah, you heard it here first. So this Dragon Ball Fighters, is it is it any good? Is it difficult? Well, I mean, not really, but then I am amazing at all Dragon Ball games, so, you know. Oh, really? All Dragon Ball games? Sure, yeah. Even notoriously difficult 1996 SNES game, Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension. As long as there are no follow-up challenges. Is this Challenge of the Week again? Yeah, it's Challenge of the Week again. Here are the scores so far. And it's time for Andy's first challenge. Uh oh Ever. Uh, what? What is this, Mike? What the hell is this? Andy, this is Dragon Ball Z. Uh, yeah, hyper Z. dimension. Right, hyper dimension. <laughs> Z or Z as you prefer. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, it's the last Dragon Ball game they released for the Super Nintendo. Oh my god. Uh, only ever released in French in Europe. What am um, I supposed to do? I'm going to be Vegeta. Well, yes, in your, in your inaugural challenge of the week, yeah. Andy, you have yeah. to beat. Uh, so select. Yeah, there you go. And select your. Who's your opponent going to be? Uh, I'm fighting Vegeto. Vegito. So you have three chances to uh, win a match. Okay. It's really difficult. Um, and you'll be on level three difficulty. I don't Whoa, even know. is that that's the hardest difficulty? So the second to hardest. Uh, almost I, the hardest <laughs> difficulty in a notoriously difficult yeah. game. It's it's more that it's confusing rather than difficult, but yeah. Um, so if you go down to uh, that one, yeah, and move it across, there you I'm go. I'm glad you mentioned French yeah, because yeah. that would be even more confusing otherwise. I don't even know who Vegito is. I assume he's a fusion of two characters. Vegito. So. Allez, there you right, go. Have some <laughs> Vegito, you idiot. So. What can you tell me about this game, Mike? Because I've never even heard of it. Well, apparently, it's one of the uh, few Dragon Ball games not to feature future trunks. I don't know what future trunks are. They're like silver swimming trunks. Yeah, yeah. that's why I assumed. Uh, so it doesn't have those. Trunks, <laughs> trunks is a guy. He's uh, got purple hair. You know more about Dragon Ball than I do. Yeah. You, you watch yeah. some of this stuff. Who are these? Well, you don't know who Veggie is. I don't know who Vegito is. Do, do, do the thing where you go on fire. Yeah, there you go. How am I? All right, go on fire. Yes. So you go on fire by pressing uh, uh, the uh, B and Y buttons. I don't appear to be doing any damage. Is no, that a you're really not. You are doing damage. Um, what? That doesn't appear to be the case. <laughs> so basically, uh, ah. those numbers at the top are what? your damage, but don't... then the bar comes in. Later. What? Jeez, that's and also, confusing. you can recharge your health. Oh, what's happening? He just did a reverse. No, I why think. did he do that? Oh, you oh, just moved out the into the back of the back. How did you do that, Andy? Oh, well, skillfully oh, is how. You've moved in the third dimension. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't expecting the third dimension, were you, Vegito? Um, the numbers say you're winning? Yes, very narrowly. Feej versus Veggie. So is Vegeta short for vegetable? Yes. They're all named after stuff like that. You're there's, lying. No, there's a guy called there's a guy called Broly, which is short for broccoli. Right. And Goku's uh, Saiyan name is Kakarot, so it's right. like carrot. Okay. Awesome. Um, Why? I don't know. Why though? That's just, they, that's just what they call each other. Okay. Like, this veggie guy is rubbish. What do you mean veggie? Oh god. Hang on. Uh, yes, headbutts. That headbutt Vegeta. move is working for you. It's good, isn't it? <gasps> and now the, the health wow, bar is doing a thing. Wow, And now, he's doing it. He's going to win. Saiyan moves. Oh, did you look at that? <laughs> See the way I ducked out of his fireball? Oh. Oh, it's over. Oh, he doesn't like it up in. Oh. Oh. If I won. Yeah. Am I the best? Yeah. Well, well, I mean, pretty much easy. It's not two rounds, is it? No. Yes! <laughs> Instant victory. <laughs> Mike in considered my moving the goalpost challenge. there. Yeah. Monsel but um, My only but is Kakaru. Yeah. Well, see, I told you I was the best at Dragon Ball. Yeah, apparently so. Yeah. Well, since that was so easy for you, Andy, let's right. just just to see. Okay. Let's see how you get on in the hardest difficulty. Yeah. Right, well, I'll be with, Goku. With, you boss that. with someone who's not a scrub like Vegito. Vegito. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be perfect, perfect yeah. cell. Perfect cell. Yeah. Who is perfect. P perfect. And not named after it. a food food type. Yeah. He's like a, an android. He's made up of all these um, fighters. Fighters. He's like <laughs> Vegetables. He's been in, has all these different fighters incorporated. Oh, he's in. like a Franken fighter. Yeah. yeah. I mean, cool. it's P cell. P is a vegetable. Okay, put it up to four. Hardest right. difficulty. Hardest the difficulty. niveau ordinateur. Yeah. All right. You, are you changing the music I'm as well? The music, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're fighting in the sky right. now. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's right. I am Goku. Oh look, the clouds move differently. Yeah, do oh, a dragon cool. ball. I'm doing a dragon ball. <laughs> this, is, this is so Woo. weird. Yeah, ha have that. Oh, so, stupid vegetable. He's, man. he's blocking a bit. Yeah, he's, he's, he's giving you. He a just smacked you. Dry just slap open hand the smack. I'm gonna keep going Super Saiyan until yeah, he gets one. Yeah, do it. More Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> You're beating him in the groin. He's doing a lot of Right in the crotch area. <laughs> 
What's that place in the sky? It's uh, uh, Cloud City. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, <laughs> best, yeah, best one. Lando Skywars is hanging off the bottom of it. Yeah. 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 It's a secret crossover game that you didn't know about. <laughs> Goku. Why are you completely? I, I've uh, never seen a fighting game where you're completely underneath. Your, yeah. Uh, below your character. Yeah, he's just flying as much as he wants flying to. Flying in space. Uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, Dragon oh, Ball Universe! No, he, why stop it? Oh, look, he's got oh a combo Oh my god, going. some sort of combo happening. Be more on fire, do flames. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. He's wrecking you up. No, you need to charge Goku! Up. Andy. How do I do it? Uh, press those two. I'm gonna charge. Charge. Yeah. 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 No! Oh no, he oh, no, just... Thanks for the advice, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting all he charged and I got kicked in the face. Stone Cold kicked you in the face and while you were he's... trying to go Super Saiyan. All right, well, <laughs> don't you regret not setting the challenge to be level four now, Mike. Yeah, that's that'll what teach would me have to happened. be a tall, generous Still in the point future. to me. Qua? He Qua. says. Qua? Qua. What was that? Qua was that? <laughs> Je pensais I thought que cela that serait it would be more amusing. I thought you'd be... Funnier. I thought you would be funnier. <laughs> I heard you'd be funnier, <laughs> Vegeta. Story of my life. Doesn't matter, Sel, because I got my point. So yeah. take your hat and shove it. All right, congrats, <laughs> Huh? Huh? Yes. Yeah, see, told you. You did. Yeah. Now it's time to see what's in the YouTube comments and also check in on the value of Andy's cryptocurrency investments. Oh, no, they've depreciated in value. Oh, my precious crypto coin. Oh, no. It must have been uh, hacked. That's a thing, right? Sure is, as are the comments on this video about the times we died in video games that were 100% our fault. The conflict at the heart of most video games is between the game trying to kill the player and the player trying to stop that from happening. But then sometimes we make things a lot easier for the game by being stupid, careless, or both stupid and careless. Double whammy. Seems we're not the only ones offing ourselves in stupid ways, as the commenters were there to give examples of their own untimely ends, such as Timothy McLean, who says, I didn't believe Wheatley, but he was trying so hard. It must have been stressful going from a normal core to the guy running the whole lab. I figured I'd jump into the pit just to cheer him up. Besides, the floor's probably portable, right? It was not. Oh, wow, good. I didn't think that was going to work. Commenter Kieran M, meanwhile, remembers. In Arkham City, when you first enter the church and are held at gunpoint by guards, those guards slowly discuss whether or not to shoot you dead. I had a decision, listen to the button prompt to grapple to the ceiling, or play a game of chicken. They won't actually shoot the Batman, right? It went not well. Just shut the hell up! Okay, new plan. We kill him now. Yikes. Commenter Akaloys, however, is here with an excellent excuse you can use if you ever find yourself in the same situation. Let's just say that all of my in-game deaths are experiments in the name of science. Does this game have full damage? Will this campfire burn me? Am I able to swim without getting exhausted? Is that an NPC or an enemy? I'm just checking so you don't have to. Oh, thanks, Akaloy. He's always looking out for us. Next up this week, your comments on this episode of our Red Dead Redemption playthrough, in which we faced John Marston's greatest challenge yet, tolerating elderly NPC uncle. I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Loving it. Zing. <laughs> Witty retort. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head. <laughs> oh, this is the worst case if someone just shot me in the head. I've ever seen. <laughs> Commenter Genghis John is keen on a new approach to Red Dead cutscenes. He says, I want to watch the whole thing with a laugh track, but I also suspect it's a lot of work to edit that in. Yes, but totally worth it. Get up, old man. <sighs> I, I am up. Get up! Uh, oh. There, I'm up. You want a long sleep, Uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. <laughs> Hilarious. Coming to Patrick Kennedy, meanwhile, is an optimist. I feel like next week's episode will be great for John Marston. It's gonna be him, Jack, his wife and uncle enjoying a nice day out in Blackwater. Maybe John will get one of those fancy automobiles and a medal for his single-handed elimination of Dutch's gang. Um, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe don't watch this week's episode, Patrick. That's what we're saying. It's always one set of rules for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were injured. <laughs> No days. bickering. You didn't your mouth, did you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, commenter Chase Teal writes, I'm a lot nicer than you realise, Jack. One time, I had the option to rob a nun, and I didn't. So maybe I'm not as bad as you think. Also, remember that time I could have shot Uncle and didn't? Times. Multiple times. Practically a saint over here. 
Finally this week, your comments on last week's show celebrating the 20th birthday of Resident Evil 2, which included a fiendish Left 4 Dead 2 challenge for Mike. And as you go, you sort of unlock more of the mansion and you get that environmental storytelling as well, where you're piecing together what happened yeah. from just the way the room is laid out. And, you're like, Whoa. and there are liquors on the ceiling. Yeah, and you're like, man, I guess, liquors, liquors. <laughs> I guess liquors happened. <laughs> Commenter Adam McDickum thinks that liquors happened seems like a valid excuse for a lot of things. Late for work? Liquors happened. Didn't make it to the gym? Liquors happened. Lost an arm? Guess what? Liquors happened. Oh, right, that reminds me. I'm going to need the rest of this week off work because liquors happened. Oh, man, again? Yeah, I know. Well, it's liquor season. Liquors everywhere, you know. Yeah, no, no, I mean, of course, take as much time as you need. Well, you go, why not attempt a world record speed run of pressing the YouTube like button? How does that work? Well, you just press the YouTube like button as quickly as you can. The current record stands at 48 minutes. Ooh, sounds beatable. On the topic of like button speed runs, we have a new record, looks like, from commenter Alex Samaras, who says, Ha! 47 minutes and 23 seconds. Beat that, slowpokes. <laughs> they don't call me Lightning Steve for nothing. Of course, they don't call me Lightning Steve at all, mostly because my name's not Steve or Lightning. Mm. Still, good job regardless. Mm -mm. And commenter Crimson Rogue 97 is pleased with the challenges, saying, Challenge of the week is a great concept. Can we have Andy playing Slenderman without screaming next? Hey. Okay, I mean, I can't see how this will be hard. <laughs> That was just the Xbox staying up. Jeez. Yeah, but the ball thing, it went really oh. fast away from me. I've got to go and calm down. That's it for Show of the Week. Thanks for watching. But before you go, I, well, I've just had word from YouTube that the like button is going to be down for routine maintenance. So you better get your presses in now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to miss out. God, no, last thing you need. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. So how's your career as a uh, cryptocurrency investor going? Good. Market picked up. See, it's bigger. What? <laughs> Do you even know what cryptocurrency is? Yeah, it's like cryptozoology. You know, monster money. Like, like the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. But money. Okay. And the blockchain? It's one of those, uh, it's a martial arts technique, right? You've got like uh, sticks and a chain and someone comes to you and you're like... That's a nunchuck. No, it's pretty sure. Blockchain. <laughs>